So you sure you don't want to come with me, Detective Facetti's, for dinner tonight? Look, I don't have any problem with what he did arresting me. I understand it, but that doesn't mean I'm keen on spending the evening with him. Besides, he is your friend. He's not my friend. Well, he's whatever he is to you, but that's to you, not to me. And besides, Thomas is slowly taking over my show, and I need to deal with that. I am not keen on his ideas. Yeah, well, I'm really keen on how much money he's paying you. Hello, handsome. You're staring at yourself in the mirror again, aren't you? Well, why don't you get out of here so I can check you out instead? That's what I'm talking about. So are you going to this rehearsal of theirs tonight? Uh, I don't know if I want to lose the expectation of the final result. Do we really need a bear wrestling league? Short answer, yes. Long answer? Yes! <laughs> yeah, we don't do anything together anymore. I mean, it's that easy. You've got, you've got your things to do and I've got mine. Yeah, but I thought once we were remarried and back together, you know, we'd be doing things together like a team. We're different people than we were the first time we got married. And that, that's a good thing, but we're still here for each other when we need each other the most. Like now? You just want to have sex with me so you can stare at yourself in the mirror while you're flexing. Yeah, well, I can see what's going on under that towel, too, you know. your mark otherwise I'm gonna trip and fall. Dude, ease up! We're just having fun! You don't have to take this so seriously! This is very, very important to me. Wrestling is the only thing in the world that I care about outside of my job. I expect nothing but the same level of dedication, commitment, and professionalism Everyone I work with! Dude, you seriously need to be around people with a pulse. I really wish more people would have shown up to auditions. I'm sure with your, um, leadership, you'll be able to whip them right into shape. I gotta confess something to your father. I really don't know what I'm doing. No, you don't say. I know! It seems like I got my shit together, but it's true. Oh, Dennis, it doesn't seem like that at all. Do not grind your posterior into my groin! Oh, dude, as if! Where the hell is Chaz? I need him here to deal with this. Chaz isn't coming. I thought he told you. No? I'm surprised. I thought you knew. You mean you both knew and didn't say anything? I thought he told you everything. Forget it. Do the rear naked choke. Hold on. You know what? I don't want to know. Oh. Oh, thank you so much. I knew you'd be a good resource for information for this kind of thing. My friend, she's just starting to get out of the house more and I really think she needs to speak with somebody. My pleasure. Say, so, Angie, what are you doing tonight for dinner? Just gonna have a nice, quiet dinner at home probably, why? How'd you like to come over for dinner tonight? Oh, uh, Pam, I'm flattered. But My husband is bringing over a friend, and that usually means a really long, tedious night for me, playing host while they have a boys' night. I mean, you don't really know me that well. <laughs> I just moved here last year. I don't have a lot of friends. You know what? Of course. Why not? I, I'd be glad to. Thanks. That really means the world to me. Hey. hey. You look kind of familiar. Do I know you? Probably not something you want to ask in present company, Cameron Diaz. Oh. Oh! Oh! Uh, yeah, yes, yes ma'am. I don't know where the hell Chaz could be. He knows how important this is to us. Chaz is at a job interview. He's doing what? I'm sorry, Mr. Stewart, but Thomas isn't here. He wants to turn my show into something that's not, and then he refuses to even have meetings with me? Well, is, is it worth it? Is it worth it to just to, to, just take what you're doing and throw it all away for a little bit of money? Yes! Particularly because you and Hunter have a growing family, both in numbers and girth. 
Besides, money should not be spurned for something as trivial as artistic integrity. No, no, no. I owe it to Glenda to stay true to her vision, and I owe it to myself to stay true to mine. And that, that is not a good representation of me. Stop your prittle prattle, Poppet! We have to discuss next steps about Madame Carmen. Tony, I didn't expect to see you here. And had I known, I would not have come out of my office. Yeah, well, we have a lot to talk about. Oh, yeah, we do. A lot. But I'm just, you know, I'm just so very busy. And I really can't talk until you agree to Tad playing your character. I, I wouldn't have my part be waste washed. Society might accept the role of a big girl if it's a story of empowerment, but a big guy's not sexy. You know it, I know it, stop fighting it. But I gotta go. Hey! La 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 la! I can't hear you. Eventually I will want some reciprocity in this relationship, you know! Thomas, open the door. Hmm. Oh, Chaz, I'm so excited for you. Your first job interview since graduating. Don't you think the tux is a bit much, though? Okay, yeah, you look really sharp. I can't disagree with that. Oh, look, Anthony's here, which means that Carla must be here also. Wow. I wish that I had this many people show up for an open mic for me. That must feel so nice. Polly? Mm hmm Chaz? What are you two doing here? Chaz has his first interview since graduating. But you own a bar. Yeah, but he's looking to diversify. With what, a part-time job? Sure, why not? He works 60 hours a week. He's got an extra 10 in the week. I support you. What are you applying for? Grave digger. Sweeper. Oh. You know, I actually, I think you're very qualified for that. I've seen you swim so much under the rug at the bar. Um, but just one thing. Don't you think you're, I mean, the tux, it's a little overdressed, no? That's what I said. But you know, Chaz, he's so hard-headed. And he looks so debonair, just like 007. Well, he's 007-something, all right. It's okay, Daddy Chaz. Not every job interview goes the way you want it to. Don't call him that. He's right. You don't need a job. You own a bar! I don't think that's helping, Daddy Dennis. Don't call me that. Well, maybe I'll stop if you spank me. I cannot begin to tell you how exciting it is to be out and about again. Well, I won't pretend to understand what kept you locked up all these months, mostly because I don't care to waste the empathy. But I am very glad that you're out among the living ones more. <laughs> well, more importantly, it gives me the opportunity to meet your charming beau in broad daylight. <laughs> your book, it's amazing. I just can't shut up about it. You can't? You can't. Believe me. Wow. Well, tell me one of your favorite parts. Dennis, bring this man some liquor. <laughs> I need his throat extra lubricated so all sorts of juicy things can slide right out. Ew, gross. Ma'am, it's okay, really. I don't drink anymore. So he says. I'm still not sure I believe him. It's true. I haven't drank in four years. So you brought him to a bar? So, what does Anthony think of your new dude? I'm saving that introduction for when the time is right. Pop it. You need to stop that wretched woman from manipulating my fool of a daughter. You don't even like her. Well, that doesn't mean I want her treated in such a manner. No, but look, I need... Do what I say. When I say it, I will not be ignored. Carla, I could never ignore you. Just because I don't drop everything every time you say the word pop it. You will listen to me, Anthony. I, I will be heard and you will listen or so help me. I will possess you and never let you go. You wouldn't dare. You have no idea how 
frustrating it is to be at your mercy every time I want to get something done. Karma! Fuck it off! I'm either dreaming or on really good drugs. Oh God, please say it's really good drugs. Rough day? Well, your friend Thomas is trying to ruin my show. Yeah, he's like that. Seems like your friend is starting to piece back his life together again. You know, 10 years ago, I would have never spent a day alone here. My apartment would be filled with men, women, genderqueer, furries. I didn't care as long as the party kept going. And they didn't care as long as I kept throwing it. And then one day I looked around and the place was empty. I'm sorry. That must have been really difficult to live through. And it was probably even harder to have to remember it all again. But that got me thinking, maybe I don't have to be who I was before. Maybe I can be someone new and that someone can help you. You can? You can. Oh, I can, and I did. Earlier today, I went to see your friend Thomas and uh, I persuaded him to see things from a different perspective. He drew up a new contract and uh, Tad, he's out. And uh, you got what you wanted. Sebastian, that's... Thank you. So, sign it. I will. After, I just have to read it again. Really? You don't trust me? Well, it's not that, it's just... I get it. I wouldn't trust me either. No. No, no, pop it. You have to... No, pop it. No, 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 he is that stupid. You can be a better person, Sebastian. You've just shown that you can. Thank you. You, you have no idea what this means to me or how much it's going to change my life. Remember, Poppet, you have been warned. I thought that this was another misdirect. I'm only going to that well once. No, this engagement is as real as the color in your hair is not. Oh, don't be so mean, Ronnie. Only Leonard can call me Ronnie. I'm special. Yeah, well, until those two come back down to earth, it's every man for himself. Well, inform me a double. I need something to drown my sorrows in. <laughs> I'm trying to finish my drink. Well, if you're that dehydrated, I'll draw you a bath when we get back to my place and you can soak it all up. Veronica, sweetie, I don't see the need for such a rush. I just heard my brother is here. I can't have him meeting Leonard, not like this. I don't like how then. Be quiet, I'm thinking. Well, you better think on your feet, cause here he comes. <laughs> hey, it's dark in here. So I guess it's too much to ask to meet your fiance. There is a time and there is a place and this is neither. Come with me. Well, she is acting stranger than usual and I do no strange. Yes, yes, we know you're a ghost. Ooh, I'm strange. Well, 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 you're looking troubled. Oh my God, it's Brenda, that is you, I thought. <laughs> you, you're you, of course you're you, and, and you're here, and, and oh, I've missed you. Oh, pish posh, you've had plenty to keep you busy. You haven't given me a second thought. Oh, that is not true, that, oh, that is, uh, I, I am in so much need of someone to point me in the right direction. Really? That is just what I've been doing. It's not my fault you won't listen. The right direction. <laughs> I, 
cannot believe that you signed a contract without reading it. That's just what I said, but no one cares what I think. The man needed someone to show a little faith in him. Hmm? Please, you go call him on the phone and tell him you need to read that contract. Now you go! Serves him right for not helping me! Ugh, and you, Carla. Yes, you. You keep going on and on about how you need help from him. But you can clearly see that he is wrestling with something difficult. But instead of supporting him, you taunt him as usual. Ugh. It really seems that we could use some growth from you, Carla. I mean, really, that would be so nice. Are you actually talking to me? <laughs> yes, I am. Who else would I be talking to, woman? Of course, it would be you out of his insane <laughs> posse of friends with whom I can communicate. That's right, you've got me. Now, tell me what's bothering you. Sebastian just told me you signed the contract. He's gonna drop it off tomorrow. And Ted's thrilled, by the way. What are you talking about? Sebastian told me he bit you to sign. Man, that man gets a iced Eskimo. He's gonna make a great addition to the cast, too. But- Gotta go, babe. Talk soon. What, what are, are you, you doing, doing here? here? I got sucked into dinner. Me too. I'm so excited to meet one of Detective's friends who isn't a cop. It's so refreshing, you know? I gotta check on dinner. You know, this isn't what I had in mind when you said you needed my help with something. Please. I just, I just wanted to tell my wife the truth and I thought it would be easier with you here. Can I have a chip? You know, I don't know how I'm supposed to feel. I mean, sure, my penis doesn't kill anyone, great. But then all these people pretended to die just so they didn't have to be with me? That sucks. I mean, life sucks all around, right? I mean, Hunter, Hunter is out. And he's helping people. He's helping people. He says he's gonna help me. He's gonna help me. I'm gonna help you, Anthony. <gasps> but he doesn't. And I mean, what am I supposed to do? Am I just supposed to ask him? <laughs> I mean, at least your mother didn't try to kill your sister because oh. of you. I win, I win, <laughs> I win. <laughs> we need to drink more. Just, we'll just, 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 yeah. I guess you can only stay ecstatic for so long before reality sets in. Yeah, but I got some idea how to make things better for him. Uh, uh. For Sunny! Shh, they're a neighbor. <laughs> For Sunny! <laughs> Do you think Polly misses us? Hurry, right, guys, who's ready for another shot? Woo! Let everybody go! It's okay, because you left me a shot. Oh! <laughs> okay, hide and seek! Ready or not, here I come! Can I help you? You. You. You're the reason all the men I've ever topped have faked their deaths. It all started with you. All you had to do was tell me you didn't want to see me anymore. No, no. Instead, you make me think my penis killed you after popping out of your butt. Honey? Surprise. Okay. And you're sleeping with my husband. I know he's in there helping you with your problems instead of helping me. But that's, that's just like him. He's so generous to a fault. Yeah? Hunter! I told you he's in there. <laughs> oh. Hey. 
What's up? Uh, I'm just going back to jazz. You look so bummed, you know? <sighs> so, Chaz tells me you don't like sex. Uh, he did? Um, I think it's a little more complicated than that. Um, I'm not really sure myself. Well, do you like dick? Or vagina? Or maybe both? I, I'm not sure. It's, I mean, I'm not sure I like any of it. I'm pretty sure I'm an ace. You know, I don't, I don't believe that. I think people who say that, they just haven't had the right dick yet. Well, Dennis, that's so silly. I've had dick before. I just didn't really enjoy it. And if I never had another again, I would be perfectly fine with that. You know, Chaz gives great head. Oh. And if he ever decides to bottom for you, well, let me just say that I have never, ever experienced more pleasure. That is great. I'm glad for you. So, you know, he could do that for you too. Oh, no thanks. I'm, I'm fine. Uh, I've been watching you two. You guys hang out a lot. And I was thinking that you guys should date for a bit anyway. As long as he's happy, I just want to make him happy. He looks so unhappy. He is a wonderful friend. So why don't you be a wonderful friend and make him happy? Sorry, I thought I was clear about that. I'm not really interested in... Well, why don't you give it a try? And I can help you. I can make you like it. Then you could do it with Chaz. Uh -oh. And then he could finally be happy once and for all. Something's not so sound in that logic. Hey, Dennis, do you have any more of that Molly? Because um, my friends just <laughs> left. They just abandoned me. Oh. And I feel like we could clown around. Yeah, he's a clown. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't mine. Oh, this is mine. I oh. love this scarf. Where'd you find uh, it? Uh, well, if you will excuse oh. me. <laughs> I love him. Yeah, he's awesome. great. Thank you for uh, inviting us to eat with you, fam. Oh, don't worry. I made so much and Detective hates leftovers. Dinner was absolutely delicious. Thank you, Pam. I can't believe you make your wife call you Detective. That's my name. Your first name is Detective. So, you're Detective Detective Forsetti? Well, that's right. All the children in Detective family were named for the professions his parents wanted them to pursue. It worked out pretty good for my sister, Doctor. Uh, but my brother, Lawyer, is dumb as a post. He barely made it through high school, so... Uh... Well, listen, Pam, I want to apologize for Anthony and Gerard. Uh, we didn't mean for you to find out about Detective this way. And we're sorry. Don't worry, Hunter. <laughs> if anything, it's a relief. I've been looking for a way to tell you my secret, and now you've gone and made it so much easier. Your secret? Uh, maybe we should get going. No, don't worry. Detective, I have been working as a dominatrix for the past five years. But I thought you were a counselor. I am. <laughs> you can't expect us to be able to afford a house in New York City on our salaries. So I had to supplement our income. That's what I'm talking about, Hunter. See, she doesn't wait for her husband to ask her for help. She doesn't offer her help and then wait for him to turn her down. She just does it. That's what I need you to do. Now wait a minute. You two are turning this into another Hunter and Anthony episode, and this is supposed to be about me. Everyone, everyone, let's just calm down. Let's chat before we invite these lot over again, okay? What? You're not gonna leave me. Because you're gay? Please. If you think I married you because of your sexual prowess with women, you are grossly mistaken. No, in fact, I think that this new bit of information is just gonna make our lives a whole lot more fun. For instance. All right, you lot, quiet down. Now you, Hunter, take my husband upstairs. And detective, calm him down with whatever hole our guest prefers. Excuse me? And you three, stay put while I go get dessert. I didn't spend all day working on this to watch you get cold while you argue. Jeez, where did you say you worked? The dungeon on 34th and 5th. Oh, I know that place. Really nice. They only take the very best, clearly. So that's how you know Cameron Diaz. Very frequent client. Now move it! You're sitting in the dark. I'm the one sitting here. I'm well aware that I'm in the dark. 
I just mean why? Someone has asked for my help, and my help usually means that somebody gets hurt. Does this person deserve to be hurt? Well, I'm not completely sure, but from the looks of it, yes. Then it sounds like you have your answer. I just thought that I buried this part of myself. Let's do this together. What? You heard me. You've helped me so much. Let me help you. You don't need to bear this burden all by yourself. Oh, Hammy! Yeah, now. <laughs> now, who wants some ice cream? I got ice cream! Not at all what I was expecting when I said you should come back to my place. Oh, then why don't you come join us? Okay, that's okay. But, but face that way, I'm lactose intolerant. Mm -hmm. So you want me to do this? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. oh, this is nice. Mm -hmm. I love you guys so much. Wanna lose weight and keep it? You're not gonna feed that to me? Nope. Look. You're being ridiculous right now. <laughs> me. You're the one that crashed a dinner party that you weren't invited to and then yelled at me for not helping you even though I had offered to help. Well, you do not understand how difficult it is to ask for help, especially for someone like me. <laughs> well, sometimes you have to do hard things, Anthony. <laughs> Communication is key. I can't read your mind. What is wrong with us right now? We've been walking on eggshells around each other ever since we got remarried. I don't know. I mean, it feels like we lost something. And I don't know if we're ever going to get it back. I don't believe that. Yeah. I don't believe it either, but if it's true, it's true. Sign that contract. Don't say You don't understand. I didn't I didn't mean to. I just Sebastian told me that he got Thomas to change his mind, only he didn't get Thomas to change his mind, but he did get Thomas to give him a part in my show, and I just I don't know what to do anymore, and you were right and you just right all along. I should never have helped Sebastian and I just Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go spend the night at the other apartment. Edward's already there. I want to see how Reese is doing. But you're already dressed for bed. Yeah. Yeah, I am. <laughs>